Hello, this is Joseph Anthony and a very warm welcome to the course Understanding Enterprise Architecture. The course caters to a wide spectrum of audience. These include developers, IT and DevOps professionals, architects and designers, business analysts, project and program managers, enterprise architects, senior managers and executives, typically within medium to large enterprises. But why do enterprises need architecture? Well, historically, it emerged from the need to gain a handle on the complexity of their current IT systems implementations and to create a roadmap to declutter IT systems. Somewhere along the way, though, the role of enterprise architecture transformed to address the whole of the enterprise rather than just the IT components of the enterprise. Why should you care and what is in this course for you? The answer is, it depends really on your interests and perhaps the current role you are playing in your organization and perhaps the career paths you are choosing to explore. If you are a developer, systems administrator, systems or business analyst, enterprise architecture could be an interesting career direction that you can work towards if you are interested in moving into more strategic roles that works with the big picture and enable large-scale transformation initiatives within your organization. If you are a project or program manager or anyone working within a team and interacting with an architect, a good understanding of enterprise architecture will help you better understand architectural perspectives and help you to have a deeper and meaningful conversations with an architect. If you are already a technical architect focused on implementations or a solutions architect creating solutions that span across multiple systems and business units, you are most likely to be already familiar with the aspects of enterprise architecture. However, this course could provide you a good grounding that consolidates your understanding and completes the picture for you. If you are already an enterprise architect, use this course as a refresher on the concepts and to keep updated on the current thinking and views on this subject area. If you are a senior manager or a senior executive within an organization, this course provides you an understanding of what enterprise architecture has to offer and how you can use it as a strategic tool. Module 1 is the current module which introduced the basic concepts of enterprise architecture and offered a working definition of EA and this overview of the course itself. The next module, which is the second module, provides an overview of enterprise architecture frameworks. It covers some of the popular frameworks in the market that are related to enterprise architecture. The module then offers guidance on their use in various scenarios. Subsequently, module 3 introduces business architecture, the business case for it that is, the problems it addresses and opportunities and value it presents to the business, a working definition of it, and some of the methods and conceptual tools that are used to capture and represent business architecture. In Module 4, we introduce applications architecture and elaborate on the significance of having a deliberate applications portfolio strategy for the enterprise. It also looks at the current and future trends in this space to get an understanding of the forces that are driving and shaping the evolution of applications architecture. Module 5 introduces the principle of using information as an enterprise asset and signifies the opportunity presented through strategic deployment of this principle across the enterprise through information architecture. Module 6 explores the technology or the infrastructure component of the enterprise architecture and it offers a quick roundup of the key building blocks of the infrastructure component and also explores the future trends and directions in this space. Having covered the key domains of enterprise architecture between modules 3 to 6, module 7 covers some of the other specialized architecture practice areas emerging within the enterprise such as cloud, big data and social enterprise etc. Module 8 offers guidance on architecture roles within the enterprise from the perspective of their scope of responsibilities, what outcomes and supporting artifacts they work with, who they typically interact with, and what value do each of the roles have to offer. Module 9 explores 
the role of enterprise architecture practice in the emerging turbulent business environments and how the practice contributes towards enterprise agility while at the same time how it itself is evolving from the traditional ivory tower practice to being a collaborative hands-on and agile practice that supports enterprise-wide innovation.